All right, how's it going? Hopefully there's going to be any uh, distractions today. Seems like every time lately I've been able to film, someone has come across and screwed that up. But anyway, what I'm showing off today is, um, I've been using braid here the last year or so on rods and reels. And I've come across an issue where the braid just seems to foul up. Now, if you notice everything here, now I got a bunch of stuff just sitting out here. If you notice the bait casters have no braid on it, that's because every rod that has a uh, braid on it, it is sitting at home with an issue. If it's not a wind knot of some type, a knot in the spool, a hook getting stuck in the spool of the, of the uh, braid, or a snap tip. I've had this month, I've had that issue on every rod that I have uh, braid on. And it's not the first time. I've had other issues. I had a rod tip snapped on another rod. I just had a brand new rod. The rod was used twice. The second day, it wrapped around the rod and snapped it at the second eye. So I lost a rod that day. It's uh, no good now. But So I've gotten to the point where I used to use this, this stuff here. Now, this is just cheap line. This, you know, I'm using this as an example. But this Cajun line from Zebco. This stuff here is five bucks, I think, a spool. And I was using it as my leader on my braid. You know, I would put a couple feet of this on, and that way, you know, I don't like using straight braid. I like using some type of uh, mono leader. And um, I was using it for that. And then I decided, you know what? Instead of doing that, let me put this on some reels. Since I'm having issues, so I took a couple reels off. Like, this is a backup here. That's my Escalade here. It's just a backup reel. Um, it's a good reel, but uh, I have extra reels. But anyway, I put it on that. I put it on my daily driver, my uh, Garcia. This is my Black Max, and I run it every day. And I started fishing it, and for three weeks I've fished these things without an issue yet. I've had no bird nests. I've had nothing get snagged around the tip and snap a tip. I've had nothing uh, of any type of issue that I had with the braid. Now, the braid is, is, there are good things about the braid. I'm not saying there isn't, but I'm saying that the mono has done me much better. I don't have any issues with knots, and I don't have issues with, I have to now use a leader because I'm using the leader here. And it's worked out well. This is 14 pound. I don't fish anything really super heavy. I don't need 20 pound braid. Um, I do have some spinning rods that'll be a little heavier than this. Like this, I actually have eight pound on here on my uh, Sharky 3, but I will put a 10 pound test on my, some of my spinning rods to give it a little more heft on the spinning reel. Now that I will probably use a, a braid. I'll probably use a 10 or a 15 pound braid on those heavier duty or uh, um, spinning rods. Only because I want the thinness of the braid and what I'm using it for. You know, I want something a little heavier than my 8 pound. My 8 pound doesn't like, I'm fishing a couple spots that have lily pads. 8 pound has a tough time getting out of the lily pads. Even if I'm only casting like from here to over here, you know, uh, up 10 yards trying to get a decent bass out of the lily pads is tough on 8 pound test. So, um, but I've decided I'm going to stick to, on my really light stuff, I got some 6. 8 is going to be my standard on my spinning reels. And 10 is going to be my, my heavier duty, and that's where I'll probably use the braid at. And then 14 on my heavier um, bait casters that I use a, a little bit heavier stuff for. I don't need really anything over a 14 pound test. But I've been having such an issue with the braid. Like I said, I had a rod tip snap. I've got a, my uh, Shimano SLX DC. It's sitting at home unusable because in the middle of the spool, you can see a big knot in the middle because I set the hook. And somehow when it when I went to as I set the hook that it spit the lure and caused some type of backlash in the spool that if you've ever dealt with braid, you know once you've got a knot, goddamn you're not getting that out. I mean it's it's almost impossible. It really is. And that's I haven't had that happen here. I've had one little bird nest on here. My own fault I hit some uh uh brush um trying to cast here. And if you know anything about fishing around here, I'll I'll, I'll film it here. I'm gonna film this in a couple segments because I'm actually show the rods that have issues all the braid problems at the back end of this video here. This one's gonna be a little bit of a longer one, but uh, yeah, it, uh, it, it, it's got a big knot in it. I have a rod with a broken tip on it. I have Power Pro, and I've used different types of braids too. And I, you know, I'm not dogging one braid or another. I think they're all the same when it comes to this issue. Um, I've got Power Pro, I've got Super Slick, I've got J Braid, I've got uh, Spider Wire. Um, I even tried Nordtail Loot, and I've had issues on every one of them that I've used braid on. So um, I've definitely lost my um, taste for braid. Like I said, I'll have a couple spinning rods that'll be a little heavier duty here. 
uh, spinning rods that will have maybe braid on it. I may go to a super line now. I'm actually going to buy some super line here to test it out. And if I like it better than the braid, I will not be using any braid at all. I will completely switch out from braid. But anyway, let me know what you think. Um, Mono's dirt cheat. That's another thing. Uh, a spool to fill this up with uh, 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 Power Pro Super Slick is about 15, 16 bucks, you know. On this here, uh, each of these spools here, I think were $5. This one here, as you can see, I've got it off here. I just filled up four reels, plus I was using it as uh, leader material for a while before I did that. Yeah, four reels. I still got plenty of line on it, and uh, and it's worked out well. Like I said, no backlashes. This reel's been out six or seven times already. I left it in the car a couple days on some really hot days. Still going strong. Um, and it's a cheap one. I plan on switching over to a lot of Strin product. I like the Strin line. So that's why I'm saying I'm going to look at uh, Strin and Berkeley. They're, they're covered by the same people. Uh, they're owned by Pure Fishing. So both American-made companies as well. And that's another thing I'm trying to do. And this, the Zebco line is good. It is made in China. And I'm trying to give some, uh, you know, some love to the U.S. guys. So I'm trying to get away from the Chinese stuff. But I have it. You know, I'm not going to lie to you. i got tons of hooks and tons of stuff from China that I'm going to use up. Um, and I'm still trying to buy some American-made stuff. But, uh, yeah. It, um, I'm down to where I'm just not, you know, I'm not digging the braid no more. It does have its benefits, but, um, it, it, as for, I mean, for, if you're hauling it out, winching it out, like you're using it as a winch, it's awesome. I mean, for a straight line, it, it's got the most pull that you can do for the smallest diameter. But abrasion wise, it's not better than mono. My mono holds up much better. You can use catfish mono, which I've used, and it holds up better than braid. Um, I can go in and rub up against the rocks out here in this rock quarry and not come up with a with a lost lure where uh, a couple times here I've just dragging worms all of a sudden, boop, nothing. What, what happened? I bring it up, you know, well, you rubbed up a sh the edge of a sharp rock and it and it just sliced the braid right right off the end. So you're like, ah, okay. But anyway, it's getting long here, seven minutes. I want to do, add, I do want to add in the uh, braided rods at the end. I will also add in over here, show you how close I am to the bushes so you understand why I bird nested. You'll see why I use uh, shorter rods as well is uh, some of these spots but let me know what you think do you got the bad taste for braid as well or are you just like i can't use anything but braid i do have friends who are that way that they can't use anything but braid but the reason they tell me they use the braid is because they lose stuff in trees and it's the only way to get the shit out of the lures out of the trees the 15 dollars lures out of the trees and i'm thinking to myself stop throwing the shit in the trees but anyway there you go let me know what you think talk to you later